Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today this is just a follow-up tutorial on a Lottie uh, Graph Editor bug fix tutorial I did the other day. So a big thank you to Panu, one of my subscribers who pointed this out. So without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so previously I did a tutorial on a bit of a bug inside of Lottie where the Graph Editor uh, doesn't seem to export out well in a JSON file. And my workaround was just pretty much dropping in a, an extra keyframe here and there. So in this case, I just dropped it at, at the peaks of the arcs um, and then exported out and it came out fine. But uh, one of um, my subscribers, uh, Panu, mentioned, you know, it'd be a safe option to bake out your keyframes, which I thought was an absolutely amazing idea because, you know, if you've got multiple animations, uh, you might want to just bake out all those layers and not sit there and try and figure out where the glitch is. So let's get on with that. So first of all, um, go into your library and say Control D, and we're gonna duplicate our comp because once we've baked these out, you can't go back. So it's nice to keep a copy. And let's just call this baked. And I'm gonna double click inside that baked and um, go inside the Y value. And I'm just gonna remove those little extra keyframes that I dropped inside there. Now, before we can bake things down, we need to drop a, a um, expression. So if you hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the Y position, just drop an expression on there and then you're gonna go into your animation and you're gonna go down to keyframe assistant and you're gonna click on convert expression to keyframes. Now you gotta make sure that you select your keyframes first before you do that. And this will only work if you have an expression. So you need to alt click that stopwatch. So we can go convert expression to keyframes. And what it does is it drops a keyframe every single um, part of the timeline. Now this, it might look a little bit a uh, hodgepodge on your, um, your graph editor, but it's, it's baked it out perfectly. So don't worry. Now let's save that out and let's see if it worked. So we can go to our extensions, go to body moving and click selected and just make sure that it's going to the right place. Basket baked and then just press render. Right. So let's just go into our um, Lottie preview window and drag that in. And there we go, that bounce has recorded perfectly. So definitely baking down your expressions um, before bringing it into Lottie, if there are any glitches. I mean, it, it doesn't always happen that way, but if it does, this is a surefire way to resolve that. I hope you guys found that tutorial useful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will continue to make content for you as I learn. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.